Here we have an ISO quant for a particular production function, and we've set the production level at a million. So point A uses 20 units of capital and 5 units of labor and produces a million units of output. Point B uses 10 units of capital and 10 units of labor and also produces a million units of output. The capital labor ratio at any point is going to be the slope of the ray between that point and the origin. So here I have a ray between the origin and point A. And the slope of the ray is going to be rise over run or 20 over 5. So at A, the capital labor ratio is 4. At B, I can draw a ray between the origin and B. And the slope of that ray is rise over run or 10 over 10 or 1. So the capital labor ratio at point B is 1. Elasticity of substitution is going to measure the percent change in the capital labor ratio for every 1% change in the marginal rate of technical substitution. And this is as we move along the isoquant. So this is the production function that gives us the isoquant from the preceding slides. The marginal rate of technical substitution will be the ratio of the marginal product of labor to the marginal product of capital. So going back to this original production function, I can find the MPL and the MPK. I can plug them in, and it simplifies nicely because it's a Cobb-Douglas, and our marginal rate of technical substitution is 2K over L. Now at point A, I can plug in the quantity of capital, which is 20, the quantity of labor, which is 5, and find out that my marginal rate of technical substitution is 8. So this firm could use eight fewer units of capital and one more unit of labor. At point B, I plug in 10 for capital and 10 for labor, and I get 2. So at point B, the marginal rate of technical substitution is 2, meaning the firm can use two units fewer of capital and one more unit of labor. So here's just a summary chart with our capital labor ratio and our marginal rate of technical substitution at point A and point B. Here's our elasticity of substitution formula. It's the percent change in the capital labor ratio to the percent change in the marginal rate of technical substitution. Now, refresher, the percent change in any variable will be the change in that variable over the initial amount times 100. So if I'm looking for the percent change in my capital labor ratio, that'll be 1, which is my new value, minus 4, which is my initial value, divided by 4, which is my initial value, times 100, giving me negative 75%. We'll do the same thing for the percent change in the marginal rate of technical substitution. 2 minus 8 over 8 times 100 is also negative 75%. When I plug this in, sigma equals the numerator of negative 75% over the denominator negative 75% or 1. So I have an elasticity of substitution of 1.